Wise to Gia, and you're on the map, Travelistic.com's weekly show devoted to all things travel, destination, and shared experience. And lucky for us, this week we're going to share with you our experience here on St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> Just made friends with Bug. Hello. <laughs> she has uh, worked here at uh, the Banana Deck for how, how long? Um, just about three months since we reopened for the season. When I moved down here, I only knew one person, and now I can't walk anywhere without seeing at least ten people that I know. I like the small atmosphere, and it's so great to be able to go around. If you can't get in touch with anyone, to go out. It doesn't matter if you want to go out, you go to a bar and you're going to find your friends. Uh -huh. Like a little while ago, a couple that's been throwing a party here for five years, a Christmas party, just had their party and there were like 300 people up here, open bar, food, and like I said, I knew almost every single person. Wow. I was working actually, I was being a cocktail waitress, <laughs> but I knew everybody. And it made it feel like you were there yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Bug. Of course. like the tenth person that has said when I say I've been in a movie and I say Child's Play 3 they go you're a liar he even said it I'm like why would I lie about that I'm like lying to be like I was in Top Gun I was in like no, I was an so, officer and a gentleman it's Child's so Play 3 they're like you're such a liar it's like dude check it's, out my car I got a I got a like you're such a liar it's like no I'd lie about a Corvette yeah. not a Chevette yeah. <laughs> what what is it with people these days Hour in the world, dollar, dollar drinks, drink. whatever you want. I work Perfect. this out, baby. Beers in the mouth. Baby. With me now is Chad Beatty. He is one of the owners of Woody's. And actually, it's funny because the other owner is his twin brother, your identical twin brother, yes. Todd, who we actually met last night. I mean, how long have you been here? Um, I've been here 10 years actually. Um, we've owned it for 10 years. Um, and sure, yeah, there's times of the day it's definitely a family environment, but there's also late night, we crank the music up and body shots on the bar. And, uh, it gets pretty crazy. We have fresh mahi, five kinds of shrimp. Um, is that all local well. from... Uh... Yes. The nightlife here is incredible and of course it's the most beautiful place in the world in my opinion. So, hit the beaches all day and the bars all night. Is the, is the bar that stays open the latest. Till 4 a.m., right? Till 4 a.m. So pretty much there is a point in the evening where this is the only place to go if you are that desperate and need a drink. <laughs> if you kind of approach it from the street, it looks a little scary. There's a lot of lights. Uh, it's kind of tucked away a little bit. It's definitely yeah. one of those places that you, you look at and go, I wouldn't eat lunch there. <laughs> I might not go there at all. It's one of the only two places to play pool. So if you're kind of in the pool or if you're in air hockey, they almost have darts. Things like that. One of those like late night, you want to get a drink, you want to like have a little bit of entertainment. If you're here for more than two weeks, you're gonna end up in the front yard. Yeah. 